Um, this, this yellow part here, this is the area underneath the curve. And this is the so area underneath the curve that you happen to be talking about, underneath the f of x. This is the width of the interval. And then if you divide that, you get as though it's all equaled out, right? If you have the area underneath the curve between two values um, and you look for the average value, it kind of equals, you're looking for the average value of something. Uh, last time I, I kind of forgot, and obviously it's causing problems today, but... Um, that's obviously the area underneath, right? And there's, you're looking for the average value, right? Like this is, this is higher than the average value. I mean, it's a lot higher than it, it, you know, along here. If you're looking for what the average is, uh, what is the average? Cause you can't just, you can't just join the two and then say, well, it's somewhere in the middle, right? Cause it depends where this is. If this was, uh, I think I can actually move this here. If this was like, oh, like that, the, av the average value is going to be a lot higher there than if it was uh, something like this, right? The average value is like that. It's a lot lower. Okay, then, then and so somewhere in here is the average value, right? Obviously, that's too low. That's too high. Somewhere in there, there's an average. Um, if, we, if we put a rectangle through that point and then you move this here, Okay, that that rec that value is too low because this red area is a lot less than the blue area, right? This is obviously too high because the red area is a lot bigger than the than the blue area. Imagine as though you equaled out this area. That's the average value. That's what we're doing. Okay, so if you somewhere somewhere in here, yeah. Um, uh, not that long. Once you it takes time at the beginning when you're figuring out all the you know, what what you have to enter and everything, but it doesn't take that long. Well, I think, well, I have it now, except that it was causing so many problems today, <laughs> but I have to go back to the drawing board. If you, uh, I mean, it's, I suppose it's, you know, that area and that area kind of canceling each other out. It, distributing this area so that this gives you the, ab the average value of that function. Again, as though you thought of this as a jar full of sand and just shaking it so that it levels out. Okay. Um, Maybe, I think I have it so it shows the values down here. It's a pretty good guess, right? Up here, obviously, the rectangle is a lot more than the integral. Down here, the area is a lot less. But somewhere in here is this average value where that red is the same thing. I don't know if I can get exactly the same because it goes one. It jumps to that point there, but we'll try. No, it's, that's, oh, oh. <laughs> It doesn't matter that much, all right? 10.2 is probably as good as we're going to get. You got 10.1. Okay, fine. <laughs> but we get the idea, right? The average value then is whatever this height is here. So f of c, 1.7. The low value over here is 0.73. The high value is 4.7. You can't say that the average value is just halfway in between those because this happens to be lower like that. Okay? If it was... Uh, uh, if we get rid of this and this. Now, if you make this, um, as we said, if you make this so that it's a lot higher over here, the average value is going to be higher now, right? Because you want it to be, um, we can kind of make a guess. Where do you think the average value is in there? This way, bit? Well, you think it's exactly that? <laughs> See how good you are here? Um, show area values. You're pretty close. You said that way, but now it's... No, you're saying that. So it's it's somewhere there. How close was that? Oh, 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 yeah. oh, oh, oh. No, that's about that's about as good as we can do. Forty four is closer. Forty four is right. But we'll we'll live with it. Okay, so average value in there somewhere. So I'm thinking we get the idea here, right? What you're doing is you're taking the integral from a to b, and you're dividing it by dividing it by that the width of the interval, right? You're dividing by the width of the interval. That's that's basically what you do when you figure out an average. If you're figuring out the average, I don't know, the average of any set of numbers, if you're figuring out the average uh, amount of money that a bunch of different people have in their pocket at a certain time, right? If you have uh, one person has $5, one person has $23, one person has $76, and one person has $102, what do you do to figure out the average of a set of numbers? Yeah, you add them all together, 
and you divide by how many there are, right? It's kind of the it's kind of the same thing here. You're you're adding this all together and dividing by the number. Or in other words, if you wanted to write a really formal looking formula for average, if you have a bunch of terms that are called x1, x2, x3, and so on, you can say it's the sum of all the x's, xk, k is 1 to whatever, divided by how many there are, right? If if you talked about this, you could say the sum k from 1 to 4 of x, k divided by 4, right? Because there's four of them. That's a that's a formal way of writing the, the formula for the average of something. It's basically the same thing here. This is kind of the this is kind of like the width of the whoops. Kind of like the width of the interval, right? The starting point to the ending point, one to four. Right, wherever the wherever the values start from here to here, one to four, and this is the width of that interval. I know it's I know it's from one to four. It's different when you're counting values, right? One, two, three, four. Four minus one is obviously not four down there, but it's the same idea. This is kind of how many there are, width of them, and uh, this is the sum of all those. If you look back at that picture, if you look back at that picture here. When you figure out the integral from A to B, it's as though you're summing up all these heights. Remember that when we found the integral, we were uh, looking at area of rectangles. You remember you remember when we made the rectangles skinnier and skinnier? I'm, I'm afraid to open up that other GeoGebra thing okay, because it's going to... Okay, well, you just wanted it to freeze the whole thing again no. here. No. We, will, we will do that after, okay? <laughs> uh, but you... You're summing up the area of all those rectangles. If you make the rectangle skinny enough, you're kind of like summing up all the heights, all these function values from there to there, and dividing by how many there are, kind of the width of them there. That's that's this average value. I don't want to dwell on it too much because I think you probably you probably get it here. Um, the other two questions here we can you you can do at some point, not right now because we're gonna move we're gonna move forward with the next one here. Um, you can come back to this after and try this on your own. We're going to do the other half of this now, which is looking at, this is kind of unrelated to the other thing here, absolute value of a function.